Uh, yeah, this will be uh, my last game this weekend. It's always pretty hard when you see club legends and club champions hang the boots up, and he's definitely been one of them. Oh, he means the world. Just his, uh, his loyalty for the footy club really stands out. Such a, a servant over such a, an incredibly long time, and you know, was always just dedicated to whatever the club and, and the team needed to, to get better. People talk about the heart and soul of clubs, but uh, you know, he personifies that. Yeah, I'm probably the only bloke to be happy retiring during COVID um, with less people around and less media and less attention. Um, yeah, it's probably fitting that I can go out that way. very emotional um, leading up to it, but also very proud. And um, Cade's a bit of a creature of habit, so we never ever speak to him on game day. So we just sent our usual text and, and kept it normal so that it um, could be just the same for him. Yeah, there's there's lots of fantastic uh, memories there. We've, as parents, we're very proud of his achievements and so on. But we're also very proud of the, the person that he's become since he's been at Carlton. And he hasn't changed much. He's still very modest and unassuming and so on. And now, 18 years later, Cade plays his 342nd and final game for the famous Navy Blues. Tonight, we send off a champion of our game who epitomises work ethic, professionalism, courage and loyalty. And he wouldn't be comfortable tonight with all the attention that he's received. But just to go out and play as he has done for 18 years, but try and enjoy the moment and uh, play as well as he possibly can. I just want him to go out and, and wear the jumper with pride like he always has done and enjoy being out there one last time with his teammates and to have fun and to keep the little legs running. Nice touch that, isn't it? It's Cruz on the back and Simo on the front. They're going to farewell a champion. And David Teague there. You don't often see that these days, which show that last sort of pump-up message. I reckon that would be a bit about their champion, Kate Simpson, do you suspect? Absolutely. I mean, look at look at the company he joins at Carlton, those champions that have played over 300 games. It's an elite company and he deserves every bit of credit he gets, Kate Simpson. I rocked up at this footy club and Shane I'll know even better but I turned up probably a couple of years in and Simsy was this thick and we didn't know the size of him and you looked at him and he wasn't an AFL footballer. You just had a look at him and you said, this guy, is he going to make it? He had good skills but now he's in the top 20 of all time games played, third for our club, the top 20 in the, in the history of the game but you don't get to this stage of your career from getting lucky. It's, it's from putting the time in, the work in. Off the back of that, there's a fair bit of talent there too, mate. And uh, your courage, your heart, the way you put the club first is, uh, has been super. I've known for a little while, so um, yeah, just breaking it to everyone obviously doesn't make it any easier. But um, yeah, now it's all out and just try and enjoy the week now. Oh, I could have never dreamt when I walked through the door straight out of high school that I, that I would have been here um, half my life longer. So. Um, they've, along with my family and, and my wife, they've probably shaped me, in, the club has shaped me into the person I am today. See, I'm, I'm sure I was speaking on behalf of a lot of young boys here, or everyone that's come through the club, but when you were walking the doors, you just see from the work going, not only are you an amazing person, but the work rate and all the love you have for this club really creates it an unreal culture, which I believe we have at this week. Um, I'll pick you apart watching you after I'm, as of when I first come to the club. Um, I've probably never said that to you, but I watched every detail you did, what you ate, your preparation, and chased you around, followed you around, watched everything you did. Um, been lucky enough to play a lot of footy with you now, and um, you went every moment with you. He's the guy that you, when you came to the footy club, you, you really idolised, and um, you wanted to if anything, earn his respect as much as you could, which I spent my first few years doing that. And yeah, he's one of the most respected players at the footy club and my favourite teammate over my course of my career so far. Yeah, I suppose as guys, you don't really sort of talk too much about that stuff, but um, I was exactly the same as what they were. I, I sort of just looked and, and took it all in on what the older guys did and, and tried to 
um, model myself on how they prepared and how they went about their footy and how they trained and all that sort of stuff. So it's really nice to hear that um, I've had that effect on, on guys and guys really look up to me because, um, yeah, you sort of, you don't really notice it too much or, or speak about it too often. You know, I just think, listen to you guys, like if you can't sort of get an example how to prepare yourself for a game and the way to train and everything, um, sorry. Um, <laughs> Makes me feel old, 18 years, right? Yeah, it's pretty special to have Shannon in the room and um, I actually got through the, the speech and everything pretty well. Then he started to talk and started to choke up and I was, thought I was going to uh, yeah, start, start bawling my eyes out. But um, yeah, no, he's, oh, he's, like a, he's like a father figure to so many of these guys um, that, he, that he drafted. Um, so yeah, he's, uh, it was pretty special that he was able to make it. Yeah, I was probably uh, a little bit emotional hearing Shane O'Sullivan talk about him in the meeting as well. Um, there was a few tears started to come down the face as well when hearing about Simo. Just one little silly little thing, I, you know, all the years I've gone putting tickets in your locker, I've never seen a cleaner locker than <laughs> <laughs> Simo. So there's another example for you. <laughs> yeah, I reckon it's right. He was just an incredibly organised he had an incredibly organised type of personality. I reckon he had the chewies in one corner, coins in another, was meticulously set out. And that was sort of the way, when I think about how he went about his footy off the field, it, the, the word sort of meticulous comes to mind. Like I can picture him in the Pilates room, really diligently going through the different exercises he needed to to get ready. Um, um, you know, he always had a drink bottle that seemed to be in the exact same spot. Um, so yeah, he, he was a perfectionist. And I, I guess when you, you look at those sort of behaviours he built, it's, it shouldn't come as a surprise that he was able to extract so much out of himself for the game. The thing with Simo, um, I said during the week, he, he's pretty quiet, but um, I know I did it and I know all the young guys do it. They, they just watch the things he did to prepare and like, he's immaculate with everything he does, the way he dresses, the way he prepares, what he eats, the recovery he does. Um, and those lessons, although he, he'll go next year, the habits that he did I think instilled in a lot of other guys. Just talking about his being really diligent, I was just uh, in the ele elevator with Shane O'Sullivan and we're talking about just that. But there was a 2009 footy trip to Vegas where he did lose his passport on the first day of footy trip. <laughs> so um, <laughs> it, uh, it can get the better of him sometimes, but I, I, um, yeah, I still remember that quite fondly and I've never seen a, a more broken man <laughs> on the first day of a footy trip, which was quite funny. Oh, who would have thought I would have played 300 plus games. Um, yeah, first few years struggled to get out in the park. So yeah, to to eventually um, play 300 plus is um, pretty special. And now now that it's all over, I can sort of sit back and enjoy that. Not only has he played for such a long period of time, but the standard of which uh, each game he plays is, is is really high and doesn't waver. His consistency is is phenomenal. How you show the footy field going back to the fly? Any creativity with the ball. Um, I just, just love playing with you. I think we've all taken so many lessons off the night that the passion you play with, the intent you play with, um, you've shaped um, our group, but especially our back line, the way we go about it, and the hardness we have with each other. And um, you and Saul and you've made me as a teammate. I've been my favourite teammate over, the, over my journey, and um, I'm going to miss you out for sure. You've been giving this pretty really confident to me personally, and I've always really appreciated it. So. Yeah, it was obviously. Um, yeah, pretty, um, I don't know, overwhelmed, I'd say the word, to hear guys like that, like Cripper and, and, and Doc being um, captains of the club, um, and then obviously Sammy Walsh, who's, oh, there's probably no player like him, the way he's sort of stepped onto the scene. He's a, um, his work rate's already unbelievable, he's a competitor, he's a serious player, and um, I would look forward to watching him over the next, probably, he might, uh, he might take me down and play 300 and, he might take Brattles down and play 380 the way he's going. But look, you know, he's just a bloody credit and, you know, to be, you know, an absolute carp legend. So can't wait to have a good chat with you on Sunday. Well, he's a, a bucket of high performing adjectives, really, isn't he? Um, you know, you, you, you think of re, you know, resilience, um, courage, um, persistence, perseverance. Um, relentless in his ability to keep improving. He's, he's always shown um, the level of professionalism that you need and um, he's been a leader of the footy club for, for so long. Um, as I said, he doesn't say too much off the field, but the way he goes about it on the field is 
um, he gets he gets a bit of white line fever and it, it shows the guys that it doesn't matter what character you are and or what walk of life you come from when you step on that footy field there's a level, level of commitment and um, that you have to show to the jumper and show to your teammate. Um, what I love most though, you quite off the field, but come game day, you cross that wall line, you're a competitor. He, he's the nicest guy off the field and he's such a legend of a bloke, but he goes on that footy field and he's a competitor. He'll do anything to win for that jumper. He'll do anything for his mates. Every time you pull on the navy blue jumper, it's, it's pretty special. Yeah, favourite memory of Simo. I reckon probably he dashed through the middle of the MCG against Essendon. Took like three or four bounces. Handball wide to Simpson. Now the opportunity. The Blues, can they take a break? Two bounces and a third. Runs to 50. Drop punt on its way. Oh, don't tell me. He's kicked it as well. <laughs> Carlton back in front. To put us a, a point in front was a was a big Simo moment. He um, yeah, was pretty, pretty excited about kicking that goal. Uh, one act. You know, it highlights his courage and it's against Collingwood on, at the MCG on the halfback flank and he's going back with the flight of the ball. Um, and you just knew from 50 metres away that he was going to get smashed. And he kept running back with his eye on the ball. He did not wave. Worked him hard and oh! oh. That's oh, Simpson, that's courageous. He's been absolutely pole-axed. That's great courage. But Simo, you know, he, he obviously got um, he went off for a little bit, but he came back on, I think, and uh, you know that just epitomises Cade Simpson. I reckon not only his 250th, I reckon um, we've got a lot of fond memories in all of his milestone games. Um, certainly, the boys do find another link for him. His 250th probably was pretty special, the way in which we played, and um, you said the emotion on his face after the game. And... I still look at that footage from time to time when the siren, Siren went and we all jumped on him and um, the, the look on his face, um, that's just love, love watching that back. I think nearly everyone was almost having a tear as well out there with him. I don't know what was going on. It was like we won the flag, but um, that just shows you how much the boys um, love playing with him and how much he means to the group as well. What he's done for the footy club, um, continually just putting his body on the line, his professionalism. Just so often when the game was close, it was Simo who was committing to some sort of incredibly courageous act or, or just doing something that almost seemed impossible um, and just, just consistently getting it done time and time again. As soon as I walked in the doors of Carlton, um, playing against him, uh, he was seen as such a courageous and inspirational player to play against, someone that would never give up. What he does behind closed doors, the amount of work that he puts into his body and his preparation, um, I just would almost just sort of spy on him and just and watch the things that he did and the bits that I've taken from Simo is just yeah, prepare as, as well as you can and leave no stone unturned. He was almost an old school player in many ways. I felt like he was born out of the, the 70s or 80s. It never really mattered how challenging the times got. He never he was never a whinger or a complainer. Um, he was just a pro about going about his work and, and trying to make the club better. He's been such a um, special player for such a, a long time and um, yeah, I'm going to certainly miss watching him run around out there. Unfortunately through that time um, Carlton hasn't had the success that we would have loved um, and that is even more um, uh, admirable from uh, Kay to, to be able to keep playing at such a high level and not ha have that reward because players need that reward. Um, of winning and, and having some success. And Kate hasn't had that, that luxury, so for him to keep on playing at that high level um, is just a reflection of his character. On the one hand, it was, you know, feel for Simo that he played in such a challenging period for the club in, in, in many of those years he played. But in the other hand, that really exposed just the type of character he is and just how resilient he is. And the consistency and resilience he showed over his career has, um, has just been brilliant and exemplified the type of person he is. His heart got him through and that's what we all loved about him. Yeah, half my life, um, yeah, I don't, I don't know, it's, I don't, it probably sounds stupid that it's gone quick, but just enjoy the ride. Um, probably the early days put too much pressure on myself, so um, enjoy the ride, take it as it comes. There's been many ups and, and plenty of downs along the way, um, but yeah, I've enjoyed all of it. Nice pick up from Williamson, gets it back to 
Kate Simpson playing his last game, the long sleeve, you'd love a goal. Kate Simpson, can he deliver one? Game 342, and there's a magic moment for one of Carlton's all-time greats. No matter what happens in this game, he has been one of that club's all-time greats. And a wonderful moment. We've been amazed just at all the things in the newspapers and um, on the Carlton website this, this week and just um, some of the amazing comments that, that people have made about him. It's truly blown us away. There it is. The curtain closes on a wonderful career. 18 seasons. He is one of the most respected players in football, resilient, durable. In his time from 2005 to 2020, no one played more games than Kate Simpson. 336, Dave Mundy 331, and that is a great effort when you consider he didn't play in a lot of finals, so just so resilient, courageous. Um, thanks for all the support over, over the many years. Um, he's been um, a few ups and many downs. Um, so yeah, I just I encourage them to, to stick fat and um, keep supporting the boys because I've seen firsthand how hard everyone's working um, to get this club back where it belongs. Um, and yeah, hopefully that's uh, not too long. I can uh, sit back as a supporter now and, and enjoy the ride. I uh, felt the love for, for many years. Um, I hope I've uh, done the jumper proud. Um, yeah, so thank you again, and um, yeah, now I'm a supporter just like you guys.